Assalamu alaikum dear students. Hope you all are fine. Welcome to all of you in our video lecture of mathematics. Today we will discuss the properties of radicals and then uh, we will simplify some question related to properties of radicals. So let's start our topic. On book page, page number 62. We are given two properties of radicals. The first one properties, the first one property is product rule of a radical, right? Its general form is nth root of a into b equals to nth root of a into nth root of b. This rule is used for simplifying as well as for multiplying radicals, right? The second one is quotient rule of radical. Quotient rule of radical states that nth root of a by b is equals to nth root of a by nth root of b. For example, the first one property, see the example of first one property. First one property states that nth root of a into b equals to nth root of a into nth root of b for example cube root of 8 x cube right we can write it in the form of cube root of 8 into cube root of x cube right or if we are given square root of k l we can write it in the form of square root of k into square root of l right now the quotient rule states that nth root of a by b is equal to nth root of a by nth root of b for example, square root of 25 by 100 equals to square root of 25 by square root of 100 or cube root of 9xy by 4x so it is equals to cube root of 9xy by cube root of 4x or if we are given square root of x minus y by 4 we can write it square root of x minus y by square root of 4 and <clears throat> likewise you can take some of other example just as uh, cube root of 27 by k cube equals to cube root of 27 by cube root of k cube Hope you all are clear about the properties. Now come to exercise 2.3. Exercise 2.3. Question number 4. Simplify. Simplify cube root of 125x. Right? It's so simple. The very first part of question number 4 is cube root of 125x, right? Okay, first of all solution. Then we will rewrite the question cube root of 125x. 
we will take the prime factors of 125 in our rougher. One twenty-five. As this last digit is five, so it's exactly divisible by five. Five twos are ten, and five fives are twenty-five. Five fives are twenty-five, and five ones are five. Or it's also a perfect cube of five. Okay, cube root of five into five into five into x. Right now. Here we have three fives. As the bases are same, so we will add the power. One plus one plus one, three. Five power three into x. Now we will apply the property of radical. Cube root of five cube into cube root of x. Therefore, since <clears throat> Anth root of a b equals to Anth root of a into Anth root of b. Right now, as we know that the value of cube root is one by three. Cube root of x as it is. Whenever we have two powers. On a number, we always multiply them. Three into one by three into cube root of x. These two cancel each other, so we are left only with five cube root of x, which is our final answer. Clear? Okay. Now the next question. <clears throat> See the next part, part two. See the next part that is part two, cube root of eight by twenty-seven. Cube root of eight by twenty-seven. Right. So first of all, we will apply. The property of radical here quotient rule will be applied, right? That is, nth root of a by b equals to nth root of a by nth root of b, right? Same is the case here. Cube root of eight by cube root of twenty-seven. Now we will take out its prime factors. First of all, prime factors of eight. Two fours are eight. Two twos are four, and again two ones are two. Now the q uh, the prime factors of twenty seven. Three nines are twenty seven. Three threes are nine, and three ones are three. Both of them are perfect cubes. Two into two into two, right? Now, cube root of twenty-seven equals to three into three into three. Again, as bases are same, so we will add powers here. Two power three divide by cube root of three power three, right? Now, as we know that the value of cube root is one by three, here also instead of cube root, we will put its value. Okay. Now, whenever we have two powers on a number, we always multiply them. Three multiply one by three. Three power. Three multiply one by three. These two numbers cancel each other, and here we are left only with two by three, which is our final answer. Hope you all are clear about the properties of radical. Thank you.